With a wardrobe this awesome, we couldn't just keep it down to 10. Hey everyone, I'm Ricky with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 Iron Man armors. Three, two, one. For this supersize list, we're looking at Tony's 20 best Iron Man armors from the comic book and film universe. Adrian, take it away. Number 20, Bleeding Edge. This extremely sleek and futuristic armor was designed by Tony Stark using state-of-the-art nanotech, making it a massive step forward in terms of its capabilities. For starters, this suit can actually be stored inside Stark's body when not in use, allowing him to deploy it at a moment's notice, a far cry from the days when he had to carry his armor around in a briefcase. It's also incredibly adaptable, able to reconfigure its weapons and systems into any tool Tony may need at a given time. The glowing white repulsor arrays scattered across the suit's exterior can also function as eyes, giving Tony a 360-degree field of vision. Number 19. Telepresence Armor For a period in the late 80s and early 90s, Tony Stark had become an invalid following a gunshot wound to the spine and extensive nerve damage. In order to continue his work as Iron Man, Tony developed this highly specialized armor, which he could pilot entirely via remote. Due to it not needing to make room for a wearer, the suit has much more room for extra weapons and equipment, giving it an impressive armor. Aesthetically, it also walks a fine line between the classic Iron Man look and something new and original, sporting an updated version of the usual Iron Man aesthetic, but with some new touches added like heavier gauntlets and boots. Number 18. Skin Armor Following an incident in which his previous armor became sentient, don't ask, Tony developed this new suit out of an experimental alloy. Constructed using synth kinetic interfacing nanofluid, the gold portions of this bulky looking armor are able to change its physical properties, becoming malleable or rigid and changing shape entirely as needed. This allows it a greater degree of versatility than previous suits, and the ability to deploy much more quickly than previous armors. While the armor's biggest visual feature is the massive sloped shoulders, it sometimes appeared in a different form with external tubing and black sections. Black is slimming, after all. Number 17. Heroes Return This armor was worn by Iron Man following the Heroes Reborn event, in which numerous Marvel heroes were reinvented for the modern age in an alternate dimension. Upon returning to the regular Marvel Universe, Tony donned this new suit meant to evoke his classic armor but with some modern touches. Also called the Renaissance armor, it's meant to bring Iron Man into the modern era while still sticking true to his roots. Sadly, Tony was forced to abandon this suit when it was discovered that its power systems were negatively impacting his health. It's a real shame because this is still one of the most striking suits in Tony's wardrobe. Number 16, Mark 47. While it only made sparing appearances on screen in Spider-Man Homecoming, this suit still made an impression. Anyway, Mr. Stark, you didn't have to come all the way out here. I, I had that. I was fine. Oh, I'm not here. Tony used this suit while keeping tabs on young Peter Parker, in one case piloting it via remote control to pull Peter out of trouble after a run-in with the Vulture. Hey, Mrs. Stark, could I do anything? What do you want me to do? I think you've done enough. The suit looks a whole lot like the one Tony wore in Civil War, but with the important visual distinction of a whole lot more silver on the suit's torso, arms, and legs. This gives the suit a strong visual resemblance to the bulkier armor worn by Tony in Marvel's Ultimate Comics, which presented a more grounded take on the Marvel Universe. Number 15. Modular Armor Versatility is an important aspect of most tools, and this armor takes the concept to a whole new level. Designed to allow Iron Man to swap in different modular components, this suit is meant to be the ultimate jack-of-all-trades. In addition to the usual Iron Man essentials like boot jets, repulsors, and strength-enhancing servos, the suit can also be equipped with everything from electromagnetic emitters, sonic weapons, and even the mighty Hulkbuster add-on for when Iron Man needs to get the Jade Giant to take a time out whether he wants to or not. Add this versatility to a simple and iconic design, and you've got an instant classic. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Number 14, Neo Classic Armor. They say you can't improve on the classics, but this armor is proof that that just isn't true. Closely modeled on Iron Man's classic red and gold suit, this suit was introduced as a new, high-end armor first used to battle the villain known as Firepower during the Armor Wars storyline. With a simple, clean aesthetic, this armor is one of the most iconic on our list, and one of the toughest. It boasts an impressive array of weapons and gadgets, which helped Tony battle everyone from Doctor Doom to Thanos. It was Tony's mainstay armor for years, and it's not hard to see why he kept it for so long. Number 13, Superior Iron Man. 
Right off the bat, this suit looks vastly different from anything Iron Man has used before, and there's a reason for that. After the power of Onslaught was harnessed by the Red Skull, the arch-villain reversed the moral axis of several Marvel heroes. This prompted Tony to develop this new suit using a combination of liquid metal and symbiote physiology. This grants the suit a host of new abilities, see what we did there, like shape-shifting, remote control, and extreme resilience. Its white and blue color scheme helps further distinguish it from other Iron Man armors, making for a suit that always stands out from the pack. Number 12. Mark V As cool as they are, the suits from the first Iron Man movie seem like a real hassle to get in and out of. Tony evidently had this problem in mind when he developed this suit, which can be compacted into a metal briefcase for ease of transport. It's also able to deploy onto Tony's body without external equipment for emergency situations. Tony used this suit to battle Whiplash when the villain made his dramatic first appearance in Monaco, leading to one of the film's standout sequences. The suit sadly hasn't been seen since, as Tony continued to develop armors with quick deployment capabilities. We're guessing Happy was glad he didn't have to lug that thing around anymore. Number 11. Armor Model 1 Sometimes you just can't beat the classics. The very first armor ever created by Tony Stark, this bulky suit of armor helped him escape captivity after being captured in the field. While it may not be the sleekest armor in Tony's armory, this is the suit that put Iron Man on the map, and he was seen sporting a repainted version when the Avengers were first formed. It may look low-tech now, but the suit has a wide variety of features, including flamethrowers, strength-enhancing servos, and a powerful heat ray. Believe it or not, it can also be folded up like clothing, allowing it to be stored in something as small as a briefcase. Number 10. Anti-Radiation Armor A little gift from Bruce Banner, this armor was made to turn radiation of any kind into energy and enhance the wearer's strength, which is kinda handy when one of your friends is literally made up of gamma rays. However, it's not exactly the safest of suits, as a technical glitch nearly saw Tony die of radiation poisoning. Number 9. Hydro Armor With so many of Marvel's heroes, villains, and enemies living at the bottom of the ocean, it was inevitable that Iron Man would have to see some undersea combat sooner or later. Able to function at depths of up to 3 miles, you'll be needing this if you ever want to visit Atlantis. Number 8. Stealth Armor One piece of armor that is constantly getting remodeled and improved, the stealth armor was created so that the human tank could be sneaky once in a while. Able to distort radar and sonar signals, you won't see him coming before it's too late. Number 7. Mark 7 Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man gets himself into trouble on a daily basis, but luckily he always manages to suit up at the last moment. And there's one other person you pissed off. His name was Phil. The best example of this is when Loki tosses him out of the window, leading to the unveiling of a new set of armor, now completed with extra thrusters to take care of all those pesky aliens. You ever hear the tale of Jonah? Uh, I wouldn't consider him a role model. Number 6. Silver Centurion while your armor is getting fixed up, it's always good to have a backup. Originally made for James Rhodes, this suit was used by Tony during skirmishes with the Iron Monger and a few battles against other armor users, in what came to be known as the Armor Wars. Aside from a few mentions here and there, this suit is now something of a relic. Number 5. Extremis Armor There's being Iron Man, and then there's taking it to the next level. After being injured during the Skrull invasion, Tony injects himself with an experimental super soldier serum known as Extremis. The result doesn't only make him stronger, but enables him to bond with his armor at will. Among other abilities it granted him, such as being able to mentally access any network, this armor ensured Tony Stark and Iron Man were one. Number 4. Hulkbuster Most would shy away from fighting an enormous green rage monster, but not Iron Man. Adding a hell of a lot of extra padding, this suit can not only take a punch from the Hulk, he can dish one out as well. It may be simple in its design, but when your goal is to beat up the Incredible Hulk, that's an achievement in itself. Number 3. Mark L Tony busted out his sleekest suit yet for the penultimate chapter in the Avengers series, a cutting-edge suit developed using nanotech. With a much smoother, more organic appearance than previous suits in the MCU, it's obvious just from looking at it that this suit is a cut above the rest. 
And when Iron Man brings its power to bear on Thanos and the Black Order, its capabilities prove to be quite fearsome. Your powers are inconsequential compared to mine. Yeah, but the kid's seen more movies. The suit is able to deploy onto Tony's body almost instantly, and can reconfigure itself to bring new and powerful weapons to bear on Iron Man's enemies. My only curse is you. Come on. Number 2. Mark II It may have only been in the film for 10 minutes, but it both wowed us and made us break down laughing. After being rescued and brought back to America, Tony immediately begins to work on a new set of armor, one that's much more high-tech than the prototype he used to escape capture. Kind of like a dream. Here, we see him fly for the first time and get a glimpse of the spectacle that would be the Iron Man franchise. It also notably gets stolen by Captain Rhodes in the second film, and turned into the firepower-enhanced War Machine suit. Before we suit up for our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. All personnel, Stark is loose and somewhere in the compound. Repeat, Stark is loose and somewhere in the compound. Uh, let's go. Ah, oh, crap. Gentlemen. Not quite at the end yet. Almost there though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Alright, back to business. Number 1. Armor Model 2 This was the template for the iconic Iron Man image. This trademark look came about after his second set of armor, one that was completely gold, was bested by a villain known as Mr. Doll. After making the armor more streamlined and throwing in a little hot rod red, Iron Man not only took down the villain, but set the trend for the superhero we know today. One of my favorite things about the MCU was watching Tony improve and adapt his Iron Man armors for every new threat. It's something I'm really gonna miss. Guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Let us know down in the comments which one of Iron Man's armors are your favorite. Check out this recent video over here, and I'll see you next time.